The process model was developed by Stenhouse in 1975, and this model has humanist values. It focuses on the interaction between the teacher, the student, and the subject matter. The planning is designed around an individual student, and it's designed of how they like to learn and how they like to apply their learning. Stenhouse saw the classroom as a laboratory where teachers would test out education ideas with their students. He didn't see the curriculum as a syllabus to cover or having clear learning goals, but as individual classrooms with unique outcomes. The model cannot be assessed by a final examination at the same time for all students. Instead, the student will take the exam when they are ready to take it. So therefore, if you're thinking a difference between, let's say, a GCSE English, where you've got to sit it at a particular point on a particular day, and you know that information way in advance, and compare it to functional skills English, where you can actually sit that exam whenever that student is available to sit that exam, and you can book them in. So the role of the teacher in the model is to know that subject matter and then guide the student to where they want to go, instead of being prescribed about what to teach them, unlike the product models. The student has a very active role in this particular model and they're really engaged in how they learn and how they progress.